Today I'm doing two shoka arrangements to show how the same materials can be used in two different arrangements with different emphasis. First one is San Shui Ke, a shoka shofutai arrangement. Today the materials I'm using are bamboo, cyclamen and iris leaves. Thanks to our board member, Shirley Chen, she gave me kakitsubata, Japanese iris, to grow at home. So now I can cut it from my terrace. Although I only have a little bit, but it's enough for me to use today. When we do san shuike, we want to bring out the uh, natural characteristics of the plants in the natural environment to show their strength of growing. First, I want to talk about the container. I choose this container because it has some bright spots here in a dark background. So in this time, we are kind of in the dark with some bright light coming through. That means hope is on the way. So I will start with the shin. Uh, in San Shui Ke, the placing and function of the materials can be blended, which means shin material can be used in the soy part, soy material can be used in the shin part or Thai part and vice versa. There is, they are interchangeable. So the first piece I use is a bamboo for shin. I can turn it so we can see better. Next, I would add soy with iris leaf. The next piece I'm going to use is another piece of iris leaf, but this time I'm not using it in the, in the soy part. I'm going to use it instead in the shin part as shin back ashurai and soy. Next, I will add another piece of um, bamboo as not as shin, but as soy ashirai. Next, I'll add another piece of bamboo, and this time will be as shin front ashirai. And now I'll start working on the Thai part. This will be kind of my Thai shin, since in traditional shoka, Thai has to be one third the height of shin, but cyclamens are so short. What can we do? We have to utilize another material since we have the freedom to place it in other yakueda. I am going to use a piece of bamboo to supplement the shortness of uh, like the cyclamen. To finish off, I have to make the misugiwa more beautiful by adding one of the leaves of the cyclamen. To finish the misugiwa, a leaf will give the misugiwa a sense of freshness. And since I want the tie part to be a little stronger, I'm going to add another piece of cyclamen leaf. Now, the soy part looks like it needs a little more help because I only have two pieces of um, uh, iris leaf here. It looks a little skimpy. So I will add one more to make soy stronger. One more piece of iris leaf right there. And here's the shoka. Sanshike. So this shoka sanshike is finished. So we have the Thai group, which signifies emergence of life of the plant. So it signifies the future. And we have soy that is growing out because it needs to adapt to its environment and grow outwards to find light. And the shin part is when the plant is strong enough, it will grow straight up and eventually the tip will return to the center. 
So this is um, a traditional shoka, but I'm using bamboo in shin, soy and thai positions and the iris as shin back ashirai and as soy and cyclamen as thai. Now we are going to do a shoka shimputai with the same materials. In contrary to shoka shofutai, in shimputai there is no set form. It can be any unpredictable shape. Whereas in shofutai there will be shin, soy and tai. And each shin, soy and tai will have its own ashirai. However, in shimputai there is only shu and yo and ashirai and the purpose of ashirai is not to assist each branch it helps the whole arrangement as a whole it will complement shu and yo when shu and yo do not have either color movement or flowers there are many many purposes of ashirai and in shimputai the most important thing is our approach is different so it is more objective than shofutai. We are using our own judgment of what we like about this material, be it its color, its shape, its texture, or its movement. Whatever moves you the most, you will use as shu in shimputai. And then you use yo to complement it and the two have to work together. I remember headmaster said the purpose of shu and yo, when you clap your hands, which hand makes the sound? So you need both hands to make a sound. Therefore, they have to make each other more beautiful. Okay, so let's start with my shoe for this arrangement. Now, remember before, I used bamboo as shin and ashirai for other branches and I used iris leaf as soy. So shin was the most used in the shofu thai arrangement and cyclamen was used as thai. So with cyclamen being so small but it has a very bright color and the theme is prelude to spring. I would like to show some liveliness of spring. I would love to get yellow flowers for spring. I think yellow is the best color to represent spring. However, I couldn't find any yellow flowers that I liked. So instead, I use a yellow container. Let's start with cyclamen as my shoe. Usually people will think that, well, it's shoe is the main thing. So it must be big, it must be the tallest, but not necessarily. Shoe can be very small, can be the shortest. So, which one do I think has the most character out of this? The one that moves me the most, I will use that to start with. I, I just love flower buds. I think this bud is very, very attractive. So I'm going to use this first. But still facing up. Well, this guy is very cute too. Well, I'll make it like a butterfly. This one, maybe in the center because I like the tall, short, tall rhythm. Then I will add my yo. Yo, I'm going to use iris leaves. Since they are, have a very nice contrast in color, make it very bright, which is also one important thing in a shimpu time to have bright contrast. So long and small, pink and bright green. I hope they complement each other. Okay, one more. And to make the misugiwa, Beautiful. I will use some leaves of the cyclamen. Okay, so I have 
for Musugi one, I have Shu and Yo. Now, I need Asherai. So, what can I use for Asherai? It will be bamboo, the material that's left. But now, this time, I'm just using just a little bit. What the iris leaf and the cyclamen don't have is something, some lightness. Well, the cyclamens are light, but still it has a heavy color. Pink, the pink is pretty strong. So I want to add some softness uh, to the arrangement and some more movement because the bamboo, this bamboo branch has such slender and curvy, light, airy movement. And uh, compared to the iris leaf that are a little heavy, so this will add a little lightness to the arrangement. So we have the iris leaves going down, uh, cascading downwards. And now the bamboo as ashirai will add an upward movement to the arrangement. So that we have cascading down, going up. We have long leaves, we have round leaves. There are many contrasts here. To balance the back, because the back is a little bit empty, I will use a very tiny piece of iris leaf to be at the back, but I want to leave enough space here so to show the airiness of the bamboo. So this arrangement is done. So as you see, the materials are used in very different ways than in the sanctuary game.